everyone um welcome back to my channel and a new video if you're new hi um how have you all been how's 2021 treating you um i haven't actually uploaded since before christmas or christmas something like that um and one thing i did notice was that and I still haven't put it public because it's kind of a bit too late but I did film and edit my Christmas and New Year um, uploaded it and put it private until like I, the day that it was due to go up and didn't put it public so it's kind of a bit late now I might put it public at some point but obviously we are February and um, today is actually Monday the 1st of February and if you can't tell today is the what today is a good day for me I was gonna say special day it's a good day for me today is the day that I am starting my fitness weight loss journey so I do struggle with my weight I do fluctuate up and down um, and I am actually bridesmaid for my sister next year so obviously I want to look and feel nice um, in my bridesmaid dress so I thought I mean she's not getting married till next October but we all know that during fitness and weight loss and things like that you have ups and downs you have weeks a month where just things don't go to plan and things throw you off course so i have given myself plenty of time to get to where i want to be um and to what i want to be now to start me off my my weakness is chocolate my downfall is chocolate so I have set myself a little challenge for February so as of today the first I am not gonna eat any chocolate or takeaways not that we have that many takeaways um very rarely many any takeaways um but no chocolate and no takeaways for the month of February now one thing I also realized it's pancake day this month what am I gonna have on my pancakes <laughs> No, I'm probably not even going to be having pancakes. We do have pancakes, but we don't always have them on Shrove Tuesday. Sorry if the lighting is putting you off. The sunset is mental today. It is currently five to four and it is blinding. Um, but yeah, so I got on the scales today. Um, I've made a note of the number, but as well i know that numbers aren't everything i do need to i need to get around to it but i need to measure myself as well do my measurements but i can't remember what i did with the flexi tape <laughs> the tapes that you get um find plenty of tape measures at the minute we are, we're actually doing renovating um so even though i haven't uploaded in over a month i have been filming um but you will see that, I don't know when, at some point. Um, but I do need to get my measurements done. But as I said, I need to find a flexi tape so that I can actually measure myself because the tape measure won't work. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I say I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. I, I'm gonna set myself challenges so that I feel like I've got something to achieve and I always find it easier to set myself a smaller goal or 10 small goals instead of one huge goal to get to. So say I want to lose five stone in total, I that just seems like completely out of the reach at the minute. Um, but Chris's birthday is in a month and I 
have set myself well i am going to set myself i'm gonna get um i'm gonna write them all down so that i can look back and see what i've achieved but i want to pick something that, that's achievable as well in the next month um and see if i can achieve that and if no chocolate for a month will help for four weeks will help chrissy's birthday is actually in five weeks so i i'm hoping that i can achieve the goal that i want in five weeks um so it's now wednesday please excuse anything you see in the background at the minute as i said in my previous clip we are going through renovating um or going we're going through the process of putting a downstairs toilet in so my kitchen is a little bit of a mess at the minute as you will see in the background but as i said it's currently wednesday i'm doing good um yesterday was a oh bit of a bit of a full-on day chris did a lot in here um so trying to cook and things like that i didn't actually eat until later on but chris is now at work um so i haven't eaten yet today which isn't good it's 10 to 4 but i did have a banana earlier actually but i've not actually eaten a meal but what i am going to do myself because we'll be having shepherd's pie later i'm going to do myself we're gonna have um some ham i'm gonna do scrambled eggs might actually do a couple of mushrooms on some crumpets um a bit like a breakfast seeing as technically i've not had a breakfast today um and then as i said tonight i'm doing shepherd's pie and veg um one of our favorite meals and it's cold today so it's nice warming warming winter meal um but i'm doing good um i've not really got a chocolate craving or not had a chocolate craving like chris last night had some chocolate after tea um he had some maltesers and didn't bother me that he was eating and I, eating some maltesers and i wasn't um but yeah i'm gonna just give the kitchen a quick wipe down because it's you can't really see it up. yeah you can it's quite dusty from everything that's going on and then i'm gonna make myself some breakfast at four o'clock in the afternoon
saw I was chopping the veg. Um, we got some potatoes boiling. Um, I'm technically doing a cottage pie because it's beef, not um, lamb. But that's this simmering away. I put a bit too much water in the stock, so I'm just leaving it to reduce a bit. Um, I've got 5% mince, onion, mushroom, a little square of garlic, some uh, ground black pepper, mixed herbs, um, and a stock cube and water. I'm leaving that to reduce down and then I only have to add a little bit of gravy granules. Um, sometimes I don't even have to add any depending on how much it thickens. Like I said, potatoes for the mash. And I'm just going to do the veg. Um, I got a little bit carried away with chopping the veg. Um, the parsnips were a bit, bear in mind it's only me that eats parsnips. They were a little bit bigger than I thought as I started chopping. So, let's see up here. Um, I am going to do some roasted. I'm going to roast them even, should I say. I'm going to use my spoons. I'm going to do a tablespoon and a half of oil. Um, because I've had, normally I'd only do a tablespoon, but I had, like I say, got a bit carried away. Um, I had some. Light sprinkling of mixed herbs. and everything with it as well and normally this could probably make four portions but Chris sometimes does come back for seconds he does like his shepherd's pie but I just freeze it um which is what we do I always well we get our veg no we don't we get our meat from the butchers in like a bulk order and then divide it um so i always we always have 300 grams of mince no matter what because i weigh it out um and like when we're doing lasagna we still get four portions even out of 300 grams because we just add like onion mushroom pepper whatever veg we've got in the fridge just to bulk it out a bit and then freeze the other two portions but probably not going to be much left from this tonight if I'm being honest. Um, Chris does like his shepherd's pie as I said it's one of his favourites so yeah I'm going to get these in the oven and enjoy my tea. Hey everyone um, so it's now Thursday. Um, I'm struggling a bit today. I've uh, been out for a walk this morning with my sister. Um, just done some housework. I had um, an omelette earlier. Just literally a really boring one. <laughs> just eggs and ham. Um, but I think like, my body's wanting sugar or something at the minute. Because I really want something sweet. But I mean good. Uh, I've not had anything sweet yet. 
um i say i've not had anything sweet i had a banana um which normally does actually help and does like satisfy my sweetness because obviously bananas are quite sweet but not today so i think what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna have it now but i think i'm gonna make up some angel delight um to have later on after tea so i've got something to look forward to um i do like angel lights really nice it's just milk literally the powder whipped into it so i think i'm gonna make that later so i've got a little sweet treat to look forward to it's actually my last packet so i might have to get some more when i go shopping but yeah i'm just wanting something sweet so i've had a drink hoping that if it's a little bit of hunger it takes that off if not the thought of having angel delight for after tea will hopefully um satisfy me for now <laughs> um i have no idea what time it is because we've got no clock on the wall chris has plastered all of that up today so i've got no clock on the wall um but I think it's not even half five yet and Chris don't finish work till nine o'clock and with me being furloughed I am actually eating with him later on um but tonight I'm gonna do a lasagna so another hour or so I'm actually gonna start it and just take it slow and cook it and it'll give me something to take my mind off it I'm just currently watching some YouTube just relaxing um normally when I want to pick I find something to do with my hands but I've already done <laughs> I've just got a I've got a pile of uh, pots there I can say washing now pots to do um, and I've got some washing to put in the dryer but I've already done a lot of the housework because as I said Chris has been plastering so there's been a lot of dust so I already did all that this afternoon I've hoovered all the way through the only thing I do need I do need to mop in here um but i've hoovered all the way through dusted everywhere it probably does need doing again because if you know like if you've renovated yourself you'll know dust gets everywhere um but yeah i just like to talk because this this sometimes it's not easy for people and today's not an easy day for me um but I don't want to, we went for a nice brisk 30, about 30, 30 minute walk earlier. So I don't want to undo what I've done. Not that like 30 minutes walk is a lot, but it was a nice walk. The sun was out. Um, very muddy though. Very muddy and wet. <laughs> it's been very wet here lately. Um, but it was nice to get out of the house because... I'm not getting out of the house as much. Um, just being furloughed, being at home, it's it's hard, and that's why I've, I think that's why I've gained some weight over the last few months because I'm not working as much. I'm not out of the house as much. Um, I've not worked now, or I've not been to work now in over a month. So um, yeah, the last day I worked was New Year's Eve. So it's it's hard being stuck at home um and sometimes all i want like you say like i said it's not sweet it's not sweet so angel light angel delight is my treat today and i do like it it's the strawberry one hello everyone it's friday the fifth not the most flattering angle but to be honest i'm really not that bothered today i'm not feeling great um that's why i haven't picked up the camera it's half past nine um and i am feeling not great today i woke up feeling really stuffy and like sinusy which i have suffered a little bit since i've had covid anyway like block sinuses and stuff like that but that sort of went off after having an antihistamine because i did wonder if um because i went for a walk in the park yesterday so i did wonder that had anything to do with it they were chopping um the trees back and stuff like that so i did have an antihistamine and that did seem to alleviate a bit but then i've had maybe too much information but i've had a really bad stomach all day 
um, and just not really left the house. Um, we had to nip to me and Q so Chris could, well, we had to nip to me and Q and then wait so Chris could pick up an electrical wire to do the fan for the toilet, but didn't have it in b and so we ended up going to Wix. Um, then I did have to go do food shopping um, and I did pick up some nice bits um, to have as like alternative treats for chocolate and naughty stuff. Um, so I picked up some jelly. The only thing is, I've got a feeling I didn't pick up sugar-free jelly. I think, I don't think I did. I didn't and it wasn't until I got home I realized that I didn't but I got strawberry raspberry and an orange I picked up angel delight with no added sugar this last night look how glowy my skin is I've just done my skincare this last night honestly worked so well as like a um, treat pick me up and then I picked up the butterscotch flavor no idea what it's like never had it before um they did have a chocolate one, but I kind of thought if I'm going to have chocolate, I want chocolate. So I didn't get that. Um, and as I said before, banana to me just is banana chocolate, uh, banana chocolate, banana medicine. Um, I did pick up these, which I technically don't class as chocolate, even though they are a chocolate treat. It's a white chocolate and strawberry cereal bar. Um... These are actually really quite nice and quite sweet because um, they're like a granola style with like, I think it's honey or something to bind it all. Um, but yeah, quite nice. Um, they're more like cereal, uh, like a bit like Rice Krispie and oats mixed together with strawberry chunks and white chocolate chunks in. So I picked those up for me to have as a treat instead of chocolate sweets anything like that um what else did i pick up just veg really i mean i spent 70 quid but honestly just veg i did pick up some bagels i've not had bagels in ages so i did pick up some warburton's pre-sliced as well cutting a bagel you can never get them equal so i picked up the pre-sliced ones um and i have actually had a bagel today i just had a ham and cheese bagel um not the healthiest thing but honestly when i was younger when i was a teenager um like when i was poorly um the thing that i really wanted was a bagel so i had that today um and that's all I've had today. So at the minute we've got jacket potatoes in the oven. I did put three in because I'm not sure how hungry Chris is going to be. I'll probably only have the one, but I just thought there's always the extra. And if not, I'll have it for my dinner tomorrow. Um, we're going to have beans and fish with it. Chris is actually going to have these. If you haven't tried them, these are really nice. They're the lemon and pepper um whitby seafood um fish goujons really really nice um i can't remember what fish it actually is um it just says white fish hmm what fish is it let's have a look ingredients just says white fish <laughs> so i'm guessing a mix of white fish um and then i'm just gonna have a couple of fish fingers on the side um I really like fish fingers um so yeah gonna have a jacket potato for tea um and probably have a bit of an early night just to try and make myself feel a bit better um but yeah as i said angel delight worked a treat last night really good and the cats even were trying to get the head in it the cats liked it they're like anything creamy they like porridge ready wreck that kind of thing um custard if chris has custard yeah they're like creamy stuff so they were trying to eat that um so yeah doing okay i did i did something naughty tonight had a little sneaky step on the scales which i shouldn't i really shouldn't because i mean 
this is looking good so far but my rule especially when I was doing Weight Watchers was I only got on the scales once a week I only got on the scales when I went to a meeting didn't get on the scales any other time um well I say I didn't no I used to <laughs> I used to get on the scales when I got home on the Wii because I used to use my Wii Fit when I lived at home um so I used to get on the Wii so that my weight matched what it was at the um meeting but I got on the sneaky scales but I'm gonna carry on being good I've got two more days so yeah two more days until my first weigh-in so Monday morning is my first weigh-in I still haven't measured myself I really need to um but it's going good hey everyone so it is currently sunday the 6th um i'm pretty much a week in week in no chocolate um i've been a little quiet the last couple of days and i'm trying to keep quiet now because chris isn't well um we thought it was or thought it was like water in the ear or something like that it started with ear ache and now it's gone like all down the side of his face and into his jaw so we're not sure if it's toothache um but pretty much last night he got about three hours sleep so he was up at half past three this morning so he went back to bed a few hours ago um it is six o'clock um I was really motivated this morning, I got up, shower.